Hi, this is Suze Leventero. Okay, we're doing Virgo now. Okay, so Leo was really long. So if you're cusping energy, you might want to go see that one. That one was really nice. Okay, all right. So that's for if you if you're in a long distance relationship. Okay, so that was the Leo. Okay, reading. All right, now we're doing Virgo. And what we're doing is unsaid sentiments at the end, right? Oh, I forgot to do it for the Leo. Shoot. Oh, well. Their reading was so good, they really didn't need it. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. So, unsaid sen sentiments from uh, your person at the end for couples, right? And then... Um, We're doing a uh, love reading for what wants to come out, couples or singles. Okay, all right. Love messages. I'm reading them. Virgo. Woo! See, goddess of courage. Authentic communication. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you've been doing a lot of this authentic communication, and it, it may rub people, um, it may shock people even, right? That's what I'm getting. The bluntness. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's see here. Okay, Akashic Gaia Gateway. So I feel like a lot of that is channeled. Okay, so you may be psychic or um, you may just be doing, um, some people do, when they sleep, they pick up uh, their records of what they want to do next, things like that. Okay, so deep in self-knowledge. Now, how do we gain uh, deep in self-knowledge is through self-study and self-awareness in each day. And reassessing energies and how we engaged with other people in our day. Okay, so that's important. Okay, so these ideas are bubbling up. You're brimming with ideas. Okay, and you're bringing love to the table, which is nice. Okay, Queen of Waves, celebrate to nature. Okay, so a lot of people have been getting this. It's like get out, enjoy the warm weather, um, spend the summer doing some fun stuff, summer activities. That's what I've been getting. And that could also pull you out of that some of that Saturn energy if, if you were kind of caught up in that. Okay, so calibrate to nature. Okay, hikes, right? Hugging trees. <laughs> See, goddess of sensuality. Celebrate romance. Okay, so let's see where you're going with all this uh, sensuality. Priestess of transition. Okay. So if you're in that Pisces energy, you may not be opening up. You were calibrating or recalibrating to open up. So the key is action. Some of you may be doing a retrieval. Pisces has been all about uh, thinking about going back with a past person. So, but I feel like here, Virgo, you want to keep moving forward. So let's move this sea goddess of sensuality and put that over the high priestess energy. Because if you're in high priestess energy, sometimes that's the dream stage. And we want to move into action stage. Okay. All right, so here is the Hierophant and a Swords. So not only are you speaking, uh, not only are you thinking clearly and being uh, upfront with your authentic communication, you're being pre <laughs> pretty precise uh, where, how you want to build your sacred geometry. Okay. Moving with your wisdom that you gained. Okay, through your travels. Okay. Ace of Cups. Opening up to love. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Balancing work and love is what I'm getting. 
Okay. So this is that Pisces energy. And it's like uh, wanting to go back, but she's laying down. Where's the action, right? Okay, so. Yeah, see? Non-action. That's what's going on here. We're going to flip that. Okay, we're going we're flipping this. Lizard, here is a crocodile. So for some of you, it's fear. Okay, so you want to adjust that. For some of you, this is lizard. So fire sign. Um, it also could be something you see as... I don't know. Just come to terms with it. Let's don't list all those things. Let's just come to terms with it so that you can step into your new beginning, the fool. Okay. And bring your dreams into this reality. Now, this is fire, so it's action. Water fire. So it might be someone who is a water fire combo, like Scorpio Sag, or a uh, fire sign like an Aries, and water, or something like that. Rising and moon. Something like that. Or uh, Aries with, uh, um, what is this? Taurus, cusping energy, something like that. Any of those combos, okay. Or, you know, you <clears throat> could be some others. All right, so let's, um, so we're stepping into the new beginning and we're building our new foundations with love. Look at her heart dress. Okay, who's your Valentine? I feel like this is a singles. Who is your Valentine? Okay, a water sign. Musician for some. And seven of pinnacles. Okay, and they want to work on it. Okay, so who, it could be Middle Eastern here. Okay. You're the apple of their eye. And you hold their heart. They're looking at you. Okay, so they had a lot of painful thoughts about you. Okay. Okay, so they don't feel like they can bring it together here. Why is that? They're holding their emotions and passion back. So maybe they gave up. So, okay, Scorpio sign. Could be any water sign. Okay, could be fire sign, water, air sign. But I don't think it's an air sign. I think this is just the pain. Okay, so. Um, and for some, it's a fire sign or air sign with a rising Scorpio energy that caused them not to be able to come together with you. So they were in their head. Then what? What's weird is they still want to take action on this. It could be a Pisces for some of you. Or a Virgo, another Virgo. Okay. They want to take action. This is the High Priestess. They want to take action. Okay, so let's ask, well, what are they doing? Resisting it. But it's like they're going to burst open and, and they're going to, they want to communicate. Look. Might be from the east somewhere. That's Middle East, east. Okay. So, but they're, they kept an eye on you for a long time, I feel like. Okay. And for some of you, they want to hurry up because they think that someone else is going to get you. Okay, all right, so let's see. What's that? Coming out of the shell. Okay, what is this? Groundedness. Okay, so they want to build a foundation, but they, were, they weren't able to come out of their shell. Okay, 
What is this? The blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. They want to integrate with you, come together with you. But see, they feel like they have to reach a certain frequency to be with you. Okay, so what is that? Let's see what the solution is. <laughs> okay, so they've been in this kind of energy. That might be a clue. They might have dark hair. Okay. They're like a, a samurai, a warrior of love. Okay. All right, that's what I just got. Okay, so let's see. Warrior of love. What next? Trust in the timing. Okay, so is the cross watcher here? Trust the wave you came on. So it might be a water sign. Time is not running out. Okay. Wow, okay. So that could be any sign, but... Okay, let's see what else. Remember the magic between the two of you. Okay, so that's a message, the alchemy. This is, could be soulmate. But I feel like some of you had some karmic stuff to get through with family and whatnot, and so therefore it didn't come together. Could have been at work too. Okay, and some of you, it was like relationship separation and uh, divorce and stuff like that. Okay. Whew. <laughs> okay so remember to get in nature right and that will bring you ease anytime you feel you know wound up okay so i leave you with that okay virgo okay let's stop there oh unsaid sentiments you have the carp to my dm okay so I feel like it's someone with Scorpio placement. You're the notes to my music. Okay. All right. I'll leave you with that. I think we said musician, didn't we?